just got out of a run just to test this guy out. There, I haven't really done any work on it, but I more or less knew what kind of weapons I wanted to put on it. I did 143,356 on the board. Let's see what I used to do it. So we have covert phaser beam arrays for their, if you notice towards the bottom, it says 20% crit severity. Um, and then they also lower your threat. So not everything is shooting at you, right? So I've got three of those and the Omni. Then from the Lorca's Ambition set, we have the console, Lorca's Custom Fire Control, and the Dual Beam Bank, which I didn't have enough salvage to make that a critical damage damage, but it's still what did well. When we go to more details, the reason that that's on there is for this 1% crit severity buff for 20 seconds stacks up to 25 times bet you right about now you're saying oh why didn't you use the torpedo and get the three piece bonus that's because one the enhanced biomolecular photon torpedo launcher is the hardest hitting torpedo in the game and when you pair it with its console the hydrodynamic compensator okay get a ca small category one i think it might be category two 7.5 percent phaser bonus i only have three consoles for phaser so i had to get creative all right then we have the colony deflector dish and all cap shield impulse control drain Weapon specialization and shield penetration. Towards the bottom, you see crit severity and crit chance based on your hull. Competitive prevailing innovative impulse engines. Anytime I activate an ability, it's like zoom, zoom. Unfortunately, this ship didn't zoom the way I thought it would. I'm still using the Marsilio Homardic Antimatter Warp Core with the Tilly Shield. And I have my shield power pretty high, so I have 16% increased energy damage against shields. Main reason these two are there is for the 120 Hull V generation. Now coming down the line, we have the advanced inhibiting phaser heavy turret. Um, for some reason, you can't put three omnidirectional phasers on a build anymore. So I decided to go with this guy since he does shoot pretty far. He does have a crit severity bonus um, and a 1% chance to crit chance. Um, and he also debuffs the target and it's paired with its console, which is the old ordnance accelerator, which does projectile damage phaser. It also does polar on and mines, but when the two of them are together, again, we get an additional 10% to phaser weapon damage. Now this is not a category one or two boost. This is just a flat 10% increase. Okay. <clears throat> so next to that, we have the famous computer assisted algorithm. So I'm more or less broadsiding. So this lets my shots, um, I get flanking bonus, 10% additional flanking damage. So it's kind of nice to have. And I'll show you where it is on my spam bar. And then reinforcement armaments. It's nice for its, you know, power transfer rate, hull restoration, hull capacity. 
but I also have the Trihelium Enhanced Omnidirectional Phaser Beam Array. Unfortunately, we cannot re-engineer this. So the way it drops is the way you get it. But when the two pieces are together, they provide an additional 5% fire cycle haste for energy weapons plus 15 flight speed. Okay. From Borg Reputation is, of course, the assimilator module, crit chance, crit severity, weapon power, uh, damage control, and control expertise. And then from the Lobby Store, the Binary. I was about to say binary. Bioneural Fusion Circuit. All capacity control and crit severity. There's a lot of crit severity on this build. And from these little Phoenix prize packs, if you happen to get a gold token, you can get the Lucari Scout Ship and you get this, the Protomatter Field Projector. Um, since I don't turn as fast as other ships, I figured, well, let me heal myself and my teammates. And it works out well. I mean, even if you've launched the Komarashi Maru and it's taken damage, if it's within 4K of you, you're going to heal it to 100%. It goes for pets, you know, teammates, objectives. It heals it all. So this it, it gives you off the bat starship hull restoration and shield restoration. That little clicky was plus 289.2 shield regeneration, 310 hull regeneration. Just nice to have. <laughs> Sorry guys about the coughing and stuff. It's one of them days. All right, so we have the interphasic rift generator, which with all of the space magic that was going on, I didn't see the graphic. I don't know if you did it. You will see at, at the end of the video. This has an additional 15% crit severity and plus to starship hull capacity. It gives out a little AOE that drains and slows your target and does a little bit of kinetic damage. 713 um, that ignores all shields. I'll show you where that is in a minute. And then from the Fleet Spire, of course, crit chance. Phaser. Vulnerability located. Now this is Talyn, she is a Vulcan. So Talyn's traits, again, are all ground traits. What we have powering this beast is three Gem Hadars, which are the second highest damage duty officer, I mean bridge officer in the game. They have 5% to all weapon damage, 1% to crit chance, 2.5 to crit severity and then we have two Romulans from the embassy um, with the trait superior Romulan operative 2% to crit chance 5% to crit severity and 15% power recharge speed for cloaking yeah so I mean, I could put on this guy, the Qatari that you can get from your fleet colony. So you get 2% to all different damage. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it damages, you get an additional 2%. 3% to hull restoration, 5% to hull restora restoration, plus 20 resistance rating. And they're efficient. So it's a plus 15 to starship warp core efficiency that's why you see some people have them on really high dps builds when they have a singularity core it helps out this one does stack with the one you get from the storyline um 
Mr. Potato Head, I call him. The hierarchy officer that gives you pirate. Um, what does he give you? Pirate. Yeah, efficiency rating for your warp core and pirate, which is flanking bonus and 1.5 to all damage. So, either way, you can get your damage there. Now, for duty officer for space, we have stacking crit chance buff on energy weapons. Two of them. We have a purple on beam overload, 35% shield penetration. Nice, but it's still a chance. Two technicians to help with the cooldown. This is not an aux to bat, it's actually aux to photonic officer. And I have a medic for increased hull regeneration. All right, so now if we go back to the character, to the traits, we have adaptive offense. Terran targeting systems, unconventional systems, a good day to die, superior beam training, operative, self modulating fire, innocuous, and duelist fervor. On starship traits, we have Weapons hot deflected a full from the inquiry. The reason I have this trait here is for one, you know, it turns you into a mini tank. And then you get 12.4 fire cycle haste for energy weapons. That's really nice. Best hope of the empire, which comes off of the mirror dreadnought, 10% bonus damage and 50,000 temporary hit points. There's no cooldown on this. And um, being single beam, when you hit that fire at will with the beam overload, you have a pretty good chance of it procking. Superior area of the now is used for my hangar pets. Grant fire at will one and scatter volley to your pet. Okay, so I have Scatter Valley and Fire at Will. So my pets were getting both of them. Emergency Weapon Cycle from the Sea Store, um, which gives 20% Fire Cycle Haste for Energy Weapons. From the Lobby Store, Subspatial Warheads. And the reason this is here is because of this trait. Rapid Emitter Armaments, which is from the new legendary, the Deridex. So when you grab somebody with your Tractor Beam 1, which I'm in the right place, procs unconventional systems, negative 7% recharge time for all universal consoles, you're also shooting out the big red high yield. Now when they hit, you get a subspace tear, kind of like when the Sona fired on the Enterprise in the movie. So yeah, it's really nice and it finishes off targets quickly. On space reputation, we have advanced targeting system for 20% crit severity. Omega Gravision Amplifier. Torpedo Pre-Fire Sequence. Plus 15.6% bonus torpedo damage. So there's another category one damage uh, boost. Plus 41.3 destructible torpedo flight speed. So they actually fly at the target faster. Enhance shield penetration because shields are bad. Enhance armor penetration because, you know, you want to cut through their armor pretty quick. So, there is a boost going, a science boost, for another 16 minutes. I usually run the engineer and the tactical boost, along with, um, I didn't even check to see today, you know that? 
Oh, oh. All they need is dilithium. All right. This fleet, the Shadow Enclave, which is my fleet, we run the combat boost every single week. So that gives you a little bit more of a boost when you're in combat. Now, as far as those specialty consoles, um, today's one of those days where I don't feel well. So when I don't feel well, I have a video on it. This is the spacebar keybind. And basically, it'll go from left to right in the order it's in. All right. So right there, the flanking ban bonus is on right now, 30 seconds. Then the cooldown reduction and more cooldown reduction. So I have a lot of fire cycle haste and if I want to go even faster, this one. But that only affects my beam weapons, okay? I didn't use the trait from this ship because from what I know, it's still bugged. One big happy fleet, okay? So I didn't want to put out a video where I did 200k because of this bugged out um, crate. What do I think of the legendary Miranda multi-mission cruiser? I think it, I can do an awesome torp boat. It did really well on, I guess you can call it sort of a broadside build. I can turn it into a DPS monster by making those all dual beam banks in the front. Um, it can make an awesome support. Okay. I just think they did a good job on the ship, but they've been doing a good job on every legendary ship. So, without further ado, I'm going to put up the parse and then if you haven't already subscribed, guys, join me in the comments. Let me know what you want to see. You know, mostly. Because I'm trying to do builds on non-Romulan characters with as little special gear as I can. But this is one thing about Star Trek Online. is a secret, guys. Even a specialty console like this could be replaced by something else in the game or duty officer oh one thing i didn't cover i just want to try them out um the elite class f shuttles they worked really really good only if you tell them to fire on the same target you do if not they go off into never never land and you don't see them all you see them is when they're dying but when they're targeting the same target, it's really awesome. Uh, they actually did good. They impressed me. What I usually use is uh, Elite Mirror Universe Shuttlecrafts for Beam Overload 3 and Tractor Beam 3. All right, guys. Without further ado, I'm going to put up the parse and the run. And see you on the next video. Peace. Keep in mind, everybody, that um, the ship was really thrown together. I use covert phasers because they also drop your threat. And you're going to see it right here where they, like, ignore me. Even though you're seeing me kill things and I'm going immune, <laughs> that's the best hope of the Empire. It's really just... A build I put together, a concept, then it worked. But I can see this ship doing immense amounts of damage.
haven't already, please join me in the comments below. Like and hit that subscribe button so you know when I'm live and when I'm posting.